blah, 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 blah. Oh, hey, you're probably wondering how I stay alive during situations like this. Well, I owe it all to Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. When you're on a dystopian TV show full of stalkers trying to take you out, you're going to need to know a thing or two about self-defense. Luckily, Skillshare had classes like Self-Defense Techniques Everyone Should Know by Jason Gandy, Self-Defense MAA Black Belt Certification by Jonathan Wright, and Street Fighting for Self-Defense by Neil Mars. They even had a Self-Defense class for Badass Women by Ellie Beyer. Money is tight in this dystopian future, which is good since Skillshare is super affordable. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. A premium membership will give you unlimited access so you can join the classes and communities that are just right for you. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare today. And the first 500 subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a two month free trial to Skillshare. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I gotta run. Man, James, I don't. What movie should we talk about today? I just don't even know. <sighs> oh. <sighs> hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I was just running. Man, <sighs> Tony, why are you running, man? The Running Man in the movie is a game show. Yeah. It's this uh, violent game show where people die. It's like mm. they, they just execute people. Yeah. And um. What I actually think is probably the best part in the movie is like how like brainwashed the audience are and they're yeah. all just like clapping they're like yeah, yeah like you know kill them. So this is like a dystopian world. It actually reminds me a lot of Demolition Man where they yeah. reference an earthquake. Mm -hmm. It's like a crazy world. The government's in control of mm -hmm. everything. But whereas Demolition Man like the society tried to become so peaceful. Running Man society just got worse and worse and they glorify violence. They yeah. turn into a game show. It's pretty much the TV is used by the government to suppress everybody and make everybody yeah. just watch TV. The constantly. network. It's like propaganda. Yeah, ICS. Yeah. And they're run by the Department of Justice that they always like. They, the, like they, I love that yeah. they have like the, uh, it's like, he's like, oh, we got a call from the Department of Justice. It's the entertainment and TV division. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the government division. makes like, these new things just to deal yeah. with like uh, going through ICS and going through the, the running man is pretty much a death sentence to, yeah. death row type people and stuff like that except for military people but then they make the yeah. exception for arnold because ratings are low and yeah. he sees the jailbreak and arnold who plays uh ben richards the, yes. the butchers of, the butcher of bakerfield yes bakersfield yeah. uh is framed for killing doing a mass killing of all these people that were protesting mm -hmm. but he didn't really do it it was the government they yeah. put him in jail he, he escapes to stop it, yeah, yeah he wanted to my, stop it here's my question because they keep him alive Mm -hmm. And I guess they keep him alive to pin it on him. Mm -hmm. but who were they going to pin it on originally when they told him to do it? Yeah, I, I were they think just going to blame it on other people, or I think that they knew he was going to do it, or they were going to just pin it on him anyway. Oh, uh, okay. Because I, I think that they knew like he wasn't going to do it, uh, okay. so that's why like the guy says like detain him and take control, like okay, you know. So the, so they so they, they set him that. up as a scapegoat. Yeah, okay. but the one thing that always gets me about that part is when they're showing it on the Running Man. Yeah, and it's like the camera angles from the movie. So it's like, did they have like these cinematic? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's they, the Star this, Trek thing. Yeah, yeah, again, the cinematic security cameras that that get these great <laughs> angles and 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 shoot in film quality. Yeah. I think is the the highlight of the movie for me is this game show yeah. where the audience is like brainwashed and mm. they're all just like clapping. And there's the, the basically the way the show the the show works. They put these like basically victims in, into this world where they have to run yeah. and they are basically uh stalked by these characters called the stalkers, the stalkers, stalkers yeah. who are all these like eccentric <laughs> kind of like almost like american gladiator type characters yeah. but yeah but their mission is to just kill the people and the track record of the show seems like the stalkers yeah. always, they always win. except yeah. for so, three people well, they apparently won. won yeah but, but that was and they're again. living it up yeah. they're in the they're in, in hawaii Maui, yeah. they're having fun <laughs> yeah what like, was it something something in hadad like our previous winners, Whitman, 
Price, and Haddad. You remember them? Whitman, Price, and Haddad. There they are, and at this very moment, they're basking under the Maui sun. There they are, and at this very moment, basking under the Maui sun. Their debt to society paid in full. They don't really, they don't expect any other outcome. The stalkers yeah. are going to kill these people. And the, that, the host is just like, like, oh, are you ready for this? And he's getting everybody all and like riled up. The host, then, uh, Damon Killian, played by Richard Dawson, mm. is uh, the, the host of uh, Family Feud. <laughs> Which is really, really funny. Really. He's the best part of this movie. He's oh, really he's good. He's so good oh, in this movie. Oh, well, I'll get to other parts. Oh, well, but, I, I think, but anyway, yeah. this, this host is like not expecting, there's no way the stalkers are going to lose. There's no way that they're, you know, yeah. they're yeah. going to get killed. And then when they do, this host who is, is all energetic and everything, he just kind of is at a loss for work. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he has no plan B. He has yeah. nothing else. My he's favorite gonna part is when and, the first one yeah. dies yeah. and he's like, this is a tragedy. A great champion is fall. We'll be back right after these important messages. <laughs> and he's like all sad, but he goes to commercial. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and, and he's stalker. I mean, just to talk about these characters, there's there's Sub Zero, uh -huh. there's Fireball, there's Buzzsaw, and there's Dynamo. And um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Do you guys have a favorite of them? Or oh, well, um, yeah, my favorite. Captain, Captain Freedom. Freedom. Jesse oh, Ventura. Oh, Jesse Ventura. <laughs> I love when he comes out in the robot thing. He's like, what is this? That was, <laughs> yeah, that's the character, I think, who steals the whole show. Yeah. Like, so he's in the, on this, like, workout program the first yeah. time you mm -hmm. see him, and he's, like, talking about, like, are you ready for this pain? And it's going to yeah. be, like, this, this, like, insane workout that like, you're yeah. getting ready for. Yeah. And then, like, the workout starts, and all he does is just go, yeah! yeah and that's just, it. And it's him, like, Wait, from, like, like, pointing he, at different, like, they, like, flip you, it. You know yeah. my favorite and part of that is, though? waiting for, like, yeah. show me the workout. Like, Wait, what are you going to do? My favorite part is... Maria Kachita Alonso is watching it, but she's doing like sit ups. She's yeah. not even doing anything on the team. Why is she just watching a workout? And that's the thing, too. Captain Freedom is actually a retired stalker. But he's so like, he's like there, an older one, yeah, who, in, yeah. who retired, and he's like yeah. the the locker room he is, correspondent. He is. Um, I think. I mean, I mean, you probably know. He probably he had like a wrestling career. Yeah, right? Jesse he, the was, body and he was Jesse he the Body, was in, uh, and then he was Jesse he was, the Voice, get, uh, and then Jesse yeah. the Mind. Because he he, he did, was um, in a Predator. He was the, yeah. the he was the uh, yep, sexual the sexual tyrannosaur guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then, and then he became governor of Minnesota, and yeah. now he's a conspiracy. <laughs> he's a crazy person. Now he's whatever, whatever. His show is good. I'm like, yeah, if you're out there, Jesse, he looks nothing like he did yeah. back then. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, but I mean, who does? You know, no, no, but this is like really, eighty but... what when when oh, Running Man came so out. Yeah, yeah. It was like 87, 88 yeah. or something. Um, but no, I I, th I think eighty seven. But I, I'm it? just because I think they said it thirty years. Oh, you know what? Let's talk about the date that this movie yeah. takes place in. A future date. It's one of those movies where the date has come. Yeah. I I think. Because yeah. it says in there 2017 is is the prologue. Now that yes. definitely passed. Yes. yes. Um, the movie takes place sometime after that. And I think you said yeah, it took 18 months. It says set 2017, and then I believe that's the part where he's in the helicopter. Yeah. But then when he goes into prison, the prison escape scene takes place 18 months after that. So it's possibly so it's possibly 2019. Yeah, the it's Running either, Man takes either, place possibly in 2019. Yeah, it's either, we it's don't, either late oh. last year or right mm. now around this time. And you know, okay. it, it predicted the wardrobe, right? Uh, yeah. I think we're all wearing stuff from the no, Running Man. No, I think right? like um, <laughs> certain things that that you see in like uh, like um, especially uh, Maria Conchita Alonso's character wears. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That stuff I feel like I've seen on like Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Like what yeah. what what uh, women wear now and. I think honestly the TV trends <laughs> Climbing for dollars is straight up uh Ninja Warrior or but Titan violent. Games or American Gladiators pretty much like if you were to just add an element of violence sending this but then like look at what we like we have UFC now yeah. that mm -hmm. people are beating each other up and like you have these violent kind of like conf mm. confrontational shows. Mm -hmm. And Usually it's by choice. Though. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. Like it's not people thrown into it. Mean, yeah. yeah, I think I think this movie kind of predicted the early two thousands a little bit better because back then we were obsessed with reality TV shows and game shows a mm -hmm. little bit more. 
like I remember there was that thing where more people voted for American Idol than they did like the two, 2004 election. Mm-hmm. Huh. Like that's how obsessed we were. Do, do you know, like, have you Googled The Running Man? Do you know what the it, first thing that comes up is? What? No. There's a Korean game show called yeah, The Running Man. Yeah, I did see that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, not related, obviously. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It's not related at all, yeah. but it's called The Running Man. Well, um, if you look at the thing like when he, so when, when Ben Richards goes into, what, what was Maria Conchita Alonso's character's name? And then, I can't remember. I yeah, like, why Maria can't Conchita I remember Alonso. her name? I remember everybody else's name, but I call her Maria Conchita Alonso. I can't remember I any movies all the time. Yeah, yeah so I, I just, I like call I call Yaf- Yafikoto. Yeah, yeah. Yafikoto. So whenever, um, so so the whole time when he, when he's in her house and uh, she, he's like going through her stuff and he's like, ah, oh, money. This is what I need. He's like, time to travel. And she's like, you can't get out of here. You don't have a travel pass. And he goes, you do. Yeah. And he takes it and he goes to the TV and he scans it and he puts in where he wants to go yeah. and that's it. And that's. Much like that, nowadays, where you can like go on the computer. But I mean, that, there's less trip, security involved in his version. Well, like. Yeah, but I think it's like you know. Also, at the same time, like you know, what's stopping someone from going? Like, okay, well, I'm gonna book a trip. I have Kieran's <laughs> credit card. <laughs> Not giving people ideas. But, uh, and then they, you know, they just grab my credit card out, book a trip, like on travel. They can book it, but once you get to the airport, they're gonna look for ID. Arnold just like That's walks in, is like, too. forgot but, it. Well, and the like, travel okay. pass, he scans it, and then it goes, oh, you do blah blah blah, and he and he. Stalled. He's like, oh, my wife lost it. The guy's yeah. like, move along. I'm like, that would not happen in 2019. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um, you notice how much red there is in this movie? Yeah, there's like, a lot. Yeah, I don't know. Like, like I think that it probably looked better on on film when it was in the theater. Maybe. Probably, originally. yeah. It's kind of like because you know, there's always some kind of weird like pixelation on the red. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. And yeah, like, I don't. Yeah, with the flamethrower and stuff, yeah. it's like it's too bright. Like they're constantly under red lights in this movie for yeah. some reason. I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, what's like, it called? Just, the scene with the uh, hockey rink. Yeah, that's all mm. red. Here is Sub Zero. Now, Plane Zero. And it's like, what? <laughs> Which Plane Zero would be above Sub Zero? Well, the it's, thing. So when I was a kid, I thought he meant like sub, as in submarine, <laughs> and plane, as and now he's a plane. And I was like, and I guess um, it just means he just means Plane yeah. Zero. My, my theory with this is um, real. Like, okay. I, I, have a, I have an insane theory that that pun was so bad. That they only put him in Batman and Robin to make up for that bad for the cold ice pun. pun. <laughs> They're like, we're gonna do so many yeah. cold puns to make up for that bad cold is, pun. Two, he does two each time. He kills a guy and says something. Yeah. And then he ki- and then someone asks what goes on or whatever. And he says it again. Yeah. Like, cause he said like they were like, what happened to Sub Zero? He's like, oh, he was a pain in the neck. Yeah. And it's like you know, uh, what happened to Buzzsaw? He had to split. He had to split. <laughs> the, the best one though is when when he's like walking with Laughlin and and Weiss, who are the two guys that were, escaped prison with him. Yeah. And. uh uh, he's like, oh, all this uh, uplink and underground. Uh, I'm gonna uplink your ass, and you'll be underground. <laughs> it says to him, and it's like, what the? What? I, I love. <laughs> like, I, think, I think the best uh, part, the best rant that Arnold has, is when he's taking the camera. He's like yelling about the contract. Yeah. You cold blooded bastard. I'll tell you what I think of it. I live to see you eat that contract. But I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! Ah! This is my second favorite Schwarzenegger movie. Really? Wow. Yeah, uh, first is Total Recall. Mm. Um, but this is my second So favorite. more than both the Terminators? So, <laughs> Terminator 2. You <laughs> didn't mean to put you, you know, on the spot. Terminator 1, I like better than 2. Mm. That's, I love Terminator 2, but I just really like Terminator 1. It felt more dire it's and legit, scarier. It's a legit argument. Like It's kind of yeah. like Alien versus Alien. Yeah. Like yeah. There's there's something different. There's a different appeal with mm. each one. I, uh, I rank... Um, Conan and Predator yeah. above those two. I just, yeah, I mean, as far as Schwarzenegger movies, like I would go, uh, Terminator Two is by far my number one. Mm. Then maybe Terminator, uh, and then in no particular order, maybe yeah. uh, Predator, Total Recall, um, the, even the, Commando, The Fifth um, Day. You probably like the Fifth the, Day. Yeah, this, 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 <laughs> or the Sixth, or the sixth Day. day yeah, sixth sorry, day. Or, like, or End of Days. End, end of days. days. That's a really good one. Yeah. What about Collateral I mean, Damage? <laughs> 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 okay, Running Man. No, True Lies. True oh, Lies. True Lies is okay. amazing. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, there's a lot that I would name. I mean, Running Man might be like. The thing is, certain things about it, I love. Uh, I love the cityscape scene when when it's yeah, showing it's the cool. thing. I love that mm-hmm. like background that they yeah. have of the buildings. I love the design. I love the ICS building. Yeah. Uh, also, mm-hmm. Richard Dawson 
is He's so, so good. good in this movie. I feel every time I watch this, I feel so bad for the old janitor. The old he janitor, fires. yeah, where he's just like, uh, oh, it's fine, it's he, fine, he, it's he, fine. Like, if he's his working feet. here yeah. tomorrow, you're not. Yeah, if he's wiping the floor tomorrow, you're wiping the floor for the rest of the week. Yeah. Like if that. The only way he like, could have been meaner if he's so just good. like walk that guy out a window yeah. or something. I I love everything about him. Uh, everything he does in the movie is yeah. so good. He's like such a a scumbag. The woman who picks uh, Sub Zero. Where, where he's like interviewing yeah, her. Yeah. That's Miss Yvonne from uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> That's her. She's, wow. she's the one who picks. She's like, I like my stalkers wow. cute and cuddly. <laughs> and she picks the, him. Um, the, the, the TV, like one of the guys working like the TV tech or whatever. Um, mm -hmm. He's, well, yeah. he's the same, he's the almost like the same character in Wayne's World. Like he's the TV I guy. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like one of the TV like business type I, executive that's guys. That's what I like, like about this movie is all how yeah. it is a TV. Like I love yeah, the part yeah. when they get Maria Codenshita Alonso. Yeah. And uh, they put her in and everything and the guy's giving the thing and it's like, it's like then she met up with Ben Richard. <laughs> her <laughs> lover. And he's in the booth like doing the voiceover yeah. with the script and stuff. Yeah. It's just so like, mm -hmm. I don't know. I um, love you, this damn movie. You know, you know what I love is all the little jokes in the background. Mm -hmm. Like there's the... There's the hate boat poster oh, yeah. instead of the yeah. love boat. It's the, the hate yeah. boat. Yeah. Uh, one thing this movie really predicted for 2019 for me is how uh, they were able to just like take a video of him and edit it out of context to like trick people into what the truth was. Yeah. And they could digitally replace people's faces. Remind me of, like today how like you could just like Photoshop something or take an image like a clip from something put it on twitter and just like say it's true yeah and people believe it like i can edit a tweet kira makes saying jurassic park 3 is the greatest film of all time <laughs> and then i can screenshot that tweet and i'll be like hey look what kieran said and before he has a chance to defend himself everyone will believe it and i think this movie because <laughs> remember they like switch the faces on arnold yeah. like with the other guy they have captain freedom kill arnold and yeah but he's killing like a Maria different guy and, and like i think so. the movie like predicted like how you can manipulate things yeah and no stuff. they they had that, that whole part i remember where like they digitally put his face yeah. and then he's like you didn't have to kill the stunt double yeah. and like he actually killed the stunt yeah. double that time like he ran that guy into a and, uh, spike nothing. wall and uh by the way i saw that tweet where you said you like Jurassic park 3 i can't believe that man i thought i thought you didn't <laughs> <laughs> when dynamo comes out and he's shooting the he yeah. shoots the sign that says clap for dynamo or whatever there's a there's a scene where it's all these people clapping one guy in the scene, and I've never noticed this before. I had to rewind it a few times, but this one guy claps, and then he puts his hand up, and his hand has something wrapped over it, and then he goes like this and turns his fist, <laughs> and then it cuts. Like, it looked like he was gonna flip the camera off or something. <laughs> Well, that was the running man. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, one more thing I want to mention okay. about this movie. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> the part where he stabs the pen into the guy's back is probably the oh, that part of the great. whole damn movie. But he's just like <laughs> when he when he like signs the contract. Ah! I love you. Yes. And I think he at least signed it. Like he yeah. signed yeah. it. <laughs> Still. <laughs> and he pins it to his back, and he kind of yeah. runs away. Yeah, I, I, I'm personally, like, I would pick seven or eight Arnold movies over this one, but it's not one of the worst uh, by any means. No, it's a it's, good one. It's a it's fun a time. It's a pretty good yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Recommended. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I gotta run. All uh -oh. right. There goes Tony. Running Tony. That thing, that suit leaves nothing to the imagination. <laughs> Blah 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 Hey Justin Lights out